Because the older generation is still in charge up that ladder. Right. And they know how to take advantage of you because you don't listen, you don't pay attention, and you know everything. Mm -hmm. So come on with the thoughts, all right? Hit us up. FB Live. Elevated Vibes. Radio. True. Dude, you gonna have a bunch of twenty-one year olds out there ready to fight you? <laughs> no, he's gonna be like, hey, he's gonna speak the truth. Oh, black America, oh, man. I mean, well, 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 well. I'm gonna say black America because you guys are black, you know. Um, First of all, black has no standing. Well, I mean, so what are you? You know, See, I mean, seeming how I thought we all kind of looked the same, but I want to know what you are well, since you can I'm, tell I'm, me what I am. He the white man. Duke, Duke, Duke the white man. Duke the white man. Duke the white man. They ain't got a name for me. Yeah, we just got. We just. We just said it. Duke the white man. <laughs> you ain't got a name for this. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? So, so for the black people, though, you know, I'm like, how he dyes hair and get his get his but, hair act like that. But for the black people, <laughs> white man. For the black people, right? So you guys complain about, you know. A lot, you know, you know, you guys want to be treated. What fair. nationality are you? You guys want to be I treated. I would love to hear this. Yes. What Ain't no such thing as I don't have a nationality. There's no such thing. They can't put nothing on it. And that's why he can't reckon with anything. They can't put nothing on yeah. this. You know, ET will come down here and say, man, I don't know. I can't put nothing on this. You see what I mean? He probably what? Put up with you. <laughs> what the hell are you talking no, about? But, ET? I mean, I but, but I mean, no, no. But, 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 but. But black people though, right? Mm. But, but, yeah, black people are going to say that. No, you should probably African just say American. people. You should say people. African I, would love I think you should say, say people. people. people? Because uh, you can't say, you should say people. I know, but that don't even sound right when I say black people or African American. <laughs> I ain't, but I'm saying it, it's still like. So some people, what? Some people needs to, uh, like, like. This is Elevated Vibes right back at you. And we are talking about regaining a sense of community for today. All right. Now, um,. <laughs> Now, um, so, anyhow, we were talking about um, community engagement and so forth. Dude, you were speaking a little bit. But before we get to you, mm -hmm. I know the gatekeeper got something to say. Well, you know what? I, I just want to press, push the fact that we need to get better at organizing. We need to get better at coming together and sticking, sticking to a subject mm -hmm. to, be, to have a force to make a change. And within that, we have already have given, been given the ground works. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is decipher from the, like the lies and the truth, take the truth, mm -hmm. put it together, and, and be powerful and move forward. Okay, okay. Now, with that engagement, let's just say, you know, to get the kids more and more into the community, into loving their community and so forth, shouldn't we do something like uh, taking their strength as a kid or whatever they may do, like a flexible type activities and, um, you know, intertwine that with some community things. Let's just say uh, if they're young, young kids and let's say they like to run or whatever, we could do something like, hey, let's see who could clean up the first three yards the quickest, you know, stuff and like that. You know what? At the lowest level at which we did have things like that, mm -hmm. they've taken those things away from our community, mm -hmm. which is, I would say, like some YMCAs. Right. You know, some some children groups, they've taken the, 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 those groups away and they, they've uh, replaced them with fundings and groups that now you have to pay to take, to, to te uh, take your kids to. Mm -hmm. So now you're paying a... $450 fee so your child can be part of some organization or some group to have activities instead of it being a community thing where the community pays for it or you or the community helps you pay for it like the YMCA where you go on uh, field trips, where you learn to work with other kids, mm -hmm. where you have more freedom. Now in the town that I live in, uh, one of the things like the YMCA is shut down but other things are open for business. Yeah, yeah. And then Okay, like you said, you got to pay a lot just to have the kids do that and so forth. All right, since you got to pay that much, maybe if possible, those same, same things that you have to pay for, they have to, let's just say, take yourself and the children to other communities where they may have things going on, where you all may be able to take those ideas from the other communities to help build the kids in the community. And, uh, unfortunately, it's just not a setup like that. See, the, the, pe the parents are paying. Mm -hmm. Because they have to go to work. Right. Now, when they drop those kids off, the kids are now involved in the activity. So, and that activity is, is used as a business to make money. Mm -hmm. So, now everything has been created to make money. It has not been created for the community to get better. Right. So, right. When, we, when we use these false 
uh, these false examples of helping the community, mm -hmm. you end up with nothing at the end of the day. Because what we need to do is have the type of uh, establishments where you, you can send your child to, uh, they can be taught, they can learn different things, and then it will be, it will be given back into the community. Right now, they got people uh, taking down basketball hoops in right. certain communities. Right. So how are the kids going to go out there and play? That's they, good. They make it half court. Now, kids that used to be able to run up and down the court, mm -hmm. right, a full court playing basketball, right, right all day, every day, mm -hmm. now, 15 years later, the kids only know what half court is. They don't run as much, mm -hmm. right? right? They right. don't have as, they, yeah. they can't as many people get on there, so they're not used to communicating with groups of people in, in, in large masses, right? Mm -hmm. or, or being in an environment where there are a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're shallow, they're shuttered down. Yeah. And it's affecting our community in a lot of ways, especially the most way by organizing together mm -hmm. to get something done, which is to live peacefully. Right, right. Okay, okay. Now, truth, let me hear what you got. I think that's good. Tear down all the basketball courts. Why would you do that? Because we don't need our kids don't need to be playing ball like 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 how we say we trying to build, right? I just had this conversation. We try to build. So there. so we trying mm -hmm. to build, right? Tear down mm -hmm. the courts. Tear down all of that. Uh, we okay. Our okay, kids need so to. So what would you replace the courts with? I would replace them with 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 classes of teaching them like like financial stuff and stuff like that. Like we say we want to build, right? Mm -hmm. So so I think that. How are you gonna that, replace a basketball court with a classroom? No, 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 no. Tear down the courts. Like, you know, and, and make, and, and we set up something. We want to grow the community, right? So, so why not do it like that? You know, I don't think that's a bad thing, tearing down basketball okay, courts. Let me ask you this. All right. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Now, okay, so you're talking about tearing down the courts and all that. Yeah. Why not, okay, hypothetically, keep the courts there? All right, but also maybe build a small structure where you can have this classroom you speak of. Uh, all right, and then let's just say you can get the kids to break and say, "Hey, kids, go on out there no, and do a pickup game." What's wrong no, with that? I'm not. Into, I mean, we, like you say, we gotta we gotta grow, right? We gotta grow our people, right? But we gotta stop playing. Grow? Is that not growing? No. No, that's run, jump. How high can you run, jump? No, no, but, like, no, no, no. We need See, to stop you, it. you have the strict. Uh, and the thing just talking about the game, but I'm also yeah. saying do both. What's wrong with doing and both? And it's not a we game, it's a, part of, it's a part of involving yourself mm -hmm. in physical activity. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's running, basketball, baseball, yeah. volleyball, yeah. golf. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that we cannot start tearing down things in the community which involve our kids and our our. A, uh, a necessity in the beginning of their lives to do the same things that we have done. Why are we taking it away? We're supposed to be making our lives better for the ones that come after us, not worse. Right. I think right, that we. Right. I think. I, I think that we going. I mean, if they tear them down, we okay. We'll be okay. But see, he can't play basketball nowhere. So. <laughs> I feel. But even okay with the thing. Because you were just talking about classes and so forth, which yeah. technically, and I want to thank Mr. Michael Banks here who just hit us up on uh, Facebook Live. He would say that's school, which yeah. it really is. But also, you know, how can I say, you bring that extra education with some fun. It's out in the summer, it's out maybe even on the weekend. So you still add the education and some fun where the kids can have fun, involvement, teamwork, so forth. That's so, dope. So, What's yeah, the so, problem with that? I mean, yeah, I mean, basketball fun, okay, we can say basketball fun to some, some, some kids. We can say okay. basketball not fun to some, you know, you know what I mean? Well, you know. But in the community, in, the, in, in communities. Which ones? Right? In all communities of yes. all colors. Right. In all communities of all colors, you will see a basketball hoop. That's true. In, in all communities of all colors. So it's not the form of just basketball. It's the form of engaging and exercising. It's the form of getting out. It's the form of being able to do something besides look at your phone, yes. get on Google, and type something. Then all of a sudden, you got the, all the information in the world. You, We grew up, 80s babies, and grew up going outside, playing, having mm -hmm. extracurricular activities. These are some of the things that made us who we are today. Yeah. You mess around with Duke, you're going to be a hermit in two years. <laughs> he's going to knock down all the playgrounds, all the basketball courts. He's going to talk about he's going to have a school where they're going to teach something. First of all, you should be teaching that to your children in the house. That's where the school should be. 
No, Second no. of all, while the no. playground is outside for you to have fun in your community, so you can exercise and be physical and move around, so yeah. you do, that's what is, is needed. And it teaches you fundamental skills in order to move around in life. So but when you sit down behind a behind a, a computer or uh, sit in a house all day, you come up with the fact that you don't need basketball hoops because you don't know how to play no sport. We're lost. Or be active. We're lost. How is that lost? We're so lost because I'm 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 listening to I li- I listen to the way y'all talk and I say, well, well, you guys, well, you guys ask for this, you guys say you guys want something, but then you guys want to play the game. You say I'm like. At, so, at, so you guys want to play, you guys, okay, so you guys want the community to come together. You want everything, okay, so you want people to come together, but right? you can come together under different aspects. But he wants us to build a school next and tear down the basketball hoop. We can't come together as a community, but we're going to come together as a school, and he's going to tear the basketball court down, and we're going to start going to the school. Y'all take a poll. Would y'all want more schools or, 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 or basketball? I'm talking about more schools as in teaching how to build Houses teach you teach you things that's gonna further us in life. There's you know? nothing wrong that's with that, be, you know. But that, that or, or not, a dribble that, ball. Hold on. There's nothing so wrong. With, there's nothing wrong with more schools. But if you have to build more schools and take down a basketball court, then that's where I'm figuring out what is the problem. I have to agree. Harsh rule. That's not even a harsh rule. Hey, rules got to be made. This is America. Come on. We, they made harsher rules than that. Come on. No, whatever they gonna... did in that video, they need to do the rules. <laughs> Rules got to be made worldwide, Thank not only you. just America. Yeah. And rules are there. And some rules need to be changed. And that's why we got a platform such as this to hopefully spark change within the rules that need to be changed. That's very bad, baby. There you go. <laughs> so you got to look at that, all right? And, you know, we just use basketball. You could have said football. You could have said baseball, soccer, whatever. Yeah. Sports. All right. Yeah. But unfortunately, he did not. But you know what? We got to keep it going, baby, because this is Elevated Vibes, and we're going to keep it positive and moving. When you say maybe, you know, so the people that that was that taught the other people this, maybe they didn't know themselves then. Maybe it's so deep that they didn't know themselves. You see what I mean? Maybe we just don't know ourselves, you know? It's good. It's all right. It's all right. No, you don't know your it's stuff. Right. I was about to say that. Maybe you don't know your stuff, brother. No, 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 no. I'm saying Talk about side. Don't nobody else know their stuff. You don't know your stuff. Take off that, Jimmy. You don't know our language. Disrespect. You got 20 seconds. Shoes, no, no. Ooh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Put on a Betty Boop shirt. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. All right, y'all. Elevated Vibes is right back at you. We are talking about bringing the sense of community to today's youth. All right? So, Gatekeeper, you were talking about organization and organizing the community. You know, um... It should be a few steps to that. I'm thinking possibly hmm, five to eight. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Uh, something like making sure that you listen to everybody within the community, um, making sure that you do things business wise, like informal meetings and so forth. Okay. Um, researching everything that you guys may want to do, build, what's wrong with the community. Um, you know, not going to say what can be fixed, what can't be fixed quick or in long term, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think? I think uh, I think as you're reading right now, just saying it, mm-hmm. the footprints are already laid down for us to do. Right, right. The problem right. is you got people who think they telling the truth, giving bad information. That's Therefore, true. it breaks up the community. Because we, uh, uh, unfortunately, are individuals now, mm-hmm. and nobody can do. Nobody wants to come together and create and, and, and create and conquer a goal. Right. That right, is the right. problem. We cannot no longer do that. We have to change. That's true. That's true. Duke, talk to me. Uh, <clears throat> I feel that we need uh, the community. We need more police officers. Uh, I mean, we need we need more security out there. Let, uh, me, let me ask you. Let me stop you for a quick, come on with it. Second. Why don't come you go set, fill out an application? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on with it. <laughs> all right, we all right. need more if, activists. If, if wait, 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 slow down. If the elders in your community are guiding these kids to do the right thing, wouldn't that help bring down? 
know the need for more police officers because right. a lot of the kids in the community would be doing the right thing. Well, the elders don't drop the ball, and you just said it. Well, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that uh, they may not have dropped the ball. Maybe some, but not everyone. Well, I look at it like. On the other side, I got. The gatekeeper. All right, y'all, you know what time it is, and this is what we're going to talk about today. We are talking about regaining a sense of community for today's youth. All right, now let's be real. You know, you want your community to step up and be a lot better and so forth. Us as the elders, as the wise ones, as they would call, we got to get the youth back into the, to the community. All right, caring about what happens in the community. Gatekeeper, you got something there, brother? Man, it's time to take it back. You got to do the footwork and get here on the ground and bring it back up. All right, all right. True. Talk to me. Well, the truth is that, I mean, like the gatekeeper said, it's, it's, it's time. We, I think it's been time. We, we passed through, ain't it? Okay, all right. Well, gentlemen, it's our time to light that match, to bring that understanding, not only for the community that we know, but every other community out there. All right, let, let today be the beginning to be the start. So let me start y'all off by reminding y'all, hit us up on YouTube Live, or also, excuse me, YouTube Live. Let me say that a little better, y'all. Uh, or Facebook Live at Elevated Vibes Radio. Man, what you what you think about what you, what you think about the gang violence like 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 this, that's in the community? Like I, I never I never understood like how could we be as one? You know, we supposed to be as one, but we 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 kill each other. You know, but then we want to blame other people like the cops and things. You know, what you think about that, gatekeeper? Well, I, I think we just got a uh, lack of understanding, lack of uh, knowledge of what actually goes on or what they call a gang. And I think that just the, the direction has been misinterpreted. So uh, maybe some things were, were, were supposed to mean to do uh, certain things, but because of the communication that somebody's given is directed and the meaning is now uh, looked down upon. So uh, I just think it's, uh, I, I wouldn't, I'm scared to use the term gang because when you start looking things up or start uh, picking yeah. uh, people's brain on depending on what they think it is, you know, everything could be a gang. But uh, yes, any right. type of uh, organization, you know, that can move forward for the better, yes. you know, and do positive things. Yes. Even in any organization, there's somebody that's down in what they're doing. Yes. So if we can uh, get rid of the word gangs and start coming together as an organization and as a I community like together like that. and start uh, helping people, uh, we'll do yes. a lot better off rather than uh, segregating or sectioning people off towards uh, the criteria that we, what, that we think they fit into. I like that. And I then like also, that. too, let's step into the history of everything. Because if you remember before gangs really started, it was the youth that was in the community wanting to build the community. But unfortunately, they stepped into the way of gang banking. Yeah. I mean, we could start with the with the Black Peacestone Rangers, mm -hmm. which we all call Blackstoners now. At first, they were a community group. At first, they was building community wide until other forces had changed it up and they did something different. I, I, yeah. I, you're right. I believe uh, with uh, some social some social problems that we have, uh -huh. um, along with uh, misguidance, yeah. mm -hmm. along with survival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to tell the story and we have to make sure we set the, the playing field up evenly so we can set the steps of how these things happen so we can also know how we can solve the problem. But in order to solve the problem, we have to know how it came about to now every young man is looked at as a gang member. Right, right. Of course. If you're hanging out with somebody that's uh, that's doing bad, you know, if, I, if I'm a game banger and if I see you hanging out with somebody, you're not a game banger, I don't care. To me, you're a game banger. Right. You see? And you know what? I, I, I agree with you. If only we could use that same method yeah. uh, when it comes to Congress. If yeah. only we could use that mm. same method mm -hmm. when it comes to the police department. If mm -hmm. only we could use that same method when it comes to others who are... We, we, should, we should judge everybody the same, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're going to say this person is a gang member because his friend's a gang member, then I'm going to say because you're in this party with this person and you colluded also with them. Hey, that's mm -hmm. not right. And then, hey, you go back and think about it. Pac did say that they are the biggest gang in America. Hey, 
I didn't say it, he did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's hot for you, huh? <laughs> but hey, let's think about some things that maybe can get the kids in the community to love the community once again and not take it to that level. All right, if we think of stuff like community engagement, you know, it's an insurance. This What's good, y'all? We back once again. This is Elevated Vibes Radio, and we are talking about bringing a sense of community back to, well, excuse me, for today's youth, all right? And I was getting into in the last break, um, community engagement, uh, and that's a way of ensuring that community members have access to value social settings, activities, and they feel that they are able to contribute meaningful, excuse, <laughs> meaningfully to those activities and develop functional uh, ways and so forth that would help the community and they are able to participate within that. All right. Now, gatekeepers, can you explain a little bit of what you were talking about off there? Uh, I mean, I'm just saying that uh, for, uh, in order for us to get back to organization, in order for get back to this uh, hierarchy to move forward, we need to take some things, two of the remedies that we have, right? Mm -hmm. One they say is bad and, and have bad things uh, towards it, which is uh, gang members and, and, and being in the gang, right? Mm -hmm. But if we take away the bad things that they say about uh, being in the gang and gang members and take some good qualities and structures that we, come, that we take from that group of which we section that out to be, and then we go to the political standpoint of the things, and we get the, the political people involved with the community, which they call gang members and, 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 and gang, right? Mm -hmm. And then take out the bad of the political and bring the two good together. I believe that we can go a lot further and, and, and move further uh, as far as solving this problem. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think that will help the community out when we take both the bad away and bring both good together. Because honestly, every organization, if you look at it, mm -hmm. can be called a gang. That's true. That's true. So let's just say we take, you know, how you may hear on the news, this person was gang affiliated and so forth. Let's change that right. to maybe neighborhood affiliated. I don't even think we should do that because no matter what, we're all affiliated with each other, right? We're in the community together. Mm -hmm. So I'm not any more affiliated with anybody else than anybody else is. Okay. If, my, if, they, if somebody labels my cousin as a gang member, mm -hmm. now you're telling me that the authorities are going to label me as a gang member also? That doesn't make sense. But if I live in the neighborhood of police officers, right. when, when are they going to mail me my pass? <laughs> so we, we cannot do that. We cannot continue to segregate and to section people out based on what we think and, and give other people rules on how to live that, that, they, that they do not have to live by, but you have to abide by. We cannot do that. That's why we are separated and we're having a problem. We need to come together, not separate each other by color, by who we know, by where we live, or what type of car we drive. That That's is true. constructive chaos. That's true. That's true. Duke, talk to me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys, but you guys want the truth, right? We're waiting on it. We've been waiting for a while. Go ahead. Uh, every lie there this is, the truth. is constructive chaos. This is America. If you don't woke up 500 times and have been the same, come on now. I mean, like, 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 they make the rules and they break the rules. If you make the rules, you can break the rules. Now, now, we ain't make them and we can't break them. But now, you now, we, follow them. Now, yeah, of course, we have to. You follow that or, or you get a bullet put in your head. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're part of the masses, then you have the ability to possibly change the rules if you know that the rule is wrong, but you have to put work in it. You got to pay attention. And you know what? I, I will take some time, but I don't want to. There are things that have been said back in the 1800s mm -hmm. mm -hmm. about the way that we live today, where mm -hmm. if you accept a society, well, if you accept certain things, what will go wrong? And these people have said this in the 1800s. Here we are living in 2020, mm -hmm. still accepting things that have been documented since the 1800s that will hurt us to today. Mm -hmm. So you know how to, we can get rid of all of that? Talk to me. I mean, we got to be ready to kill, I guess, you know? You see, you see like, you know, you got to be ready to go to war. You got to, I mean, like, we tell it, okay, you, if it happens every since. When you speak of a... Uh, when you speak of war, war. Are, are you talking about an actual physical war or are you speaking about uh, a 
social, a mental, an educational, that type of way. Well, it's 2020. I think we're a little bit too late. We don't been talking about We should have been did it. Uh, it's technology now. Off bird. It's technology now. <laughs> it's technology now. So, so it's, it's 2020. It's technology now. We talked about it. It's already been deep in it. You know, um, they got technology out there. So, so I mean, we didn't, we want to come together. Okay. So we said we want to come together in the community, right? All right. Well, you know what? I want you to tell me that thought a little bit more on the next break. We are going back to some more music. This is Elevated Vibes Radio. <laughs> 